Any point fuse mesh asset can be converted into a family using the convert to family button. Note that this function will only work for assets that have been generated using point view software. To use it, select on any object within the document that has been added via the point fuse plugin. Then select convert to family. This will launch a dialog box. Within here, you first need to select a family template to add the geometry into. Point fuse will default to the generic model template, but you can browse any options to find a different one if you have them available. You can also name the family, but note that the name should be unique. The software will flag an error if an existing family name has been found. You can also choose to set a reference level that the family will be placed at. Finally, you can decide whether you want the family to be placed into the model in place of the currently selected geometry. Alternatively, if you uncheck this option, the family will be created but won't be imported into the project. Press OK and a short process will run that replaces the object in place with a family in place, which contains the same geometry and location data. If you scroll through the project browser, you'll find that a family that you've created exists within the structure. You can choose to save this family out so you can easily transfer the object to a different project. Once the model has been converted into a family, you can use the edit family function in Revit to begin adding additional intelligence to the mesh asset. For example, you can use the geometry to accurately place reference planes and work planes for further modeling of an existing asset. This could be used to add parametric model elements such as extrusions and model lines. You can also add connections to the model so that services can be linked to the mesh geometry in the same way that you would use a more traditional Revit family. Finally, additional properties such as Kobe information can be added to the model. This makes the asset mesh that you've created suitable for asset management processes, but is achieved using a workflow that takes a fraction of the time. 